Well, hello, welcome back to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. This is, a, this is your home of burning and learning, and I'm going with hubby. Okay. And today we are starting the bear. Yay, we're starting the bear. All right, so I did not finish getting this transfer. I don't know what my brain was thinking. I decided to go with the back. So, but since we're just focusing on the face around the eye, I figure totally fine. You will notice it's hard to see on camera. I used the Artscape um, graphite transfer paper, and I say that because they did confirm with me that the gray is gra is um, graphite paper or graphite, but they c did not and have not gotten back to me about the color. I really think all of this is choco paper, which does erase easily. It does wipe off with with water or denatured alcohol. I do not know what the color is made of, but I did decide to use it and I used the blue so that I knew where the water was. Now it's not showing up as well on camera. Let me see if I can change that. But you can see the nose. Well, I, I mean, so I, I used the blue for, for just where the water is dripping or splashing. And we will go back when we do the water and put the white in with the um, white, what they call white charcoal, in order to make sure we don't burn in that area. It's just going to make it easier to stay focused on what we're doing and not get lost in the pattern. We do need to do this. We got Spence, Andrea, Sheila, Teresa, and Burl, and Greg. Hey, Greg. Oh, Greg's here. Greg. Spins, Andrea, Sheila, Helena, Teresa, Burl, thank you. And this is Burl's photo. The only way to burn along with us on this one is if you join the group. That's the only place that has permission to do the photo. And I'm asking that you do not post that photo, the original photo, anywhere else because that is Burl's photo. She has graciously allowed us to use this and it's, we spent hours going through her photos trying to figure it out and this is the one we came up with all right i am on basswood it is a 13 by 10 ish burn area it's a little larger where you know the bark is but um my other wood did not come in like it was supposed to yesterday so thankfully i had already picked this one all right, this is a small ball tip, just at three. If you're burning on a different kind of wood, you're going to have to adjust your heat. So we're gonna get the eyeball in, and right here it looks tiny, I know. So I'm using the small ball tip to get in there. This is where the pupil is, so I'm just gonna touch down get that in there, and I can actually go a little light on my heat so I bumped it down to two and a half and we're just gonna this is all a dark area so it's a little off you're not gonna know because you can't see I did have to use, make my pattern off a lighter photo so I could see what was going on I'm just gonna get that in there now the graphite uh, paper I use. I don't like how hard you have to push in order to transfer. For me, I don't like having, I don't want indents in the wood. I don't, um, I don't like it. It makes it harder to burn. If you like it, totally fine. Just my personal preference. So we're going to get that in there. Let me darken this area up. And we're going to go, and I have my phone. I'm using my phone. Um, in fact, I need to lighten it so I can see a little bit better. There we go. See, I'm trying to be able to see what's going on. I don't normally do this, but um, it, it is dark in this area. And when I printed out my reference, it was too dark. I'd rather get this part right the first time because I am burning so dark. 
Let's get that in there. This one goes all the way. Amy Hess is here. Hey, Amy. And look at that. We already got an eye. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just getting those shapes in. And I can continue with the small ball shader to fill in this area, or I could also switch over to the small spear shader. That's completely your choice. Whatever you like working with better. Back for the larger area, I'm not going to continue with the ball tip because sometimes it can get a little spotty, and I don't want spotty. So I'm going to stop. Get this in here. But look at that. He got an eye already. That was fast. He's about six inches um, in size. Let's see here. I can go ahead and switch over pins. So I had my. Um, 9M out, but I don't need it. So I'm not going to use it. I've got my pins all spread out. Alrighty, let's switch over to the small. And I think I'm going to stay with the same temperature. So how is everybody doing? Yes, this is an awesome barrel. It, it, it's a bigger photo, and Burl and I wanted to bring it in tight and focus on the bear and the water um, it was a lot about what we can learn from so bro let me alter the photo alrighty so now I can get in here and I'm just tapping tap, tap, tap. going with the eyelid Trying to look at my reference photo actually a little bit more. Let's see what's going on. And if I tap in, it gives more of a rugged fur feel versus doing a straight line. Just right. it's gone now. It's gone. Actually, I think I'm going to zoom in even more so you guys can see it better. Hopefully, puts the camera in my face. I shall sit up. Alrighty. So we have a dark line right here, and we're just going to use the edge and tap it in. And I'm going with just the edge tilted and drawing, dragging out because it's fur. And then up here, using the other edge, dragging it down. Real big dark right here. That's lighter, so I'm just gonna kind of swirl. Go. Okay, bring it up. I said, there we go. Oh. Are you falling asleep? I'm struggling. <laughs> not, not your fault. <sighs> Still having problems sleeping, people. Sorry. Right. I'm having some other problems too. I may have to break away in a minute. Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to drag the pin across. This is the eyelid that's lighter. I haven't adjusted my heat. I'm just going quicker. Tapping more down. Drag this in. Get the underneath of the eye. Now we do need to leave a light area, lighter area. It's not going to be completely light, but we do need to leave a lighter area for the um, bottom of the eyelid. That's how it goes. Let's see if I can put this up where I can see better. We have a little. Okay. 
There we go. Now we got a little bit of white here. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave it, but it's not going to stay white when we come back. It is actually going to I'm going to lower the heat so we can see. I'm going to lower down to two. Pull off my tip real quick, and there's a reason for it. We're going to. It is not absolute white. So we're just going to put a little bit of tint in it. In fact, that's still a little too dark. And in doing that, that is pretty white on this one. Let's do this. Turn down, go light, so we can get to erasing. Now I have not used um, this Artscape paper, uh, transfer paper. But I decided because this is basswood that maybe we'd give it a try and see what I thought. I do wish they'd get back to me and tell me what the uh, color transfer paper is made of. Alright. So this is even whiter than I've got it. Get it in there. Remember, we can always go back, so I'm not going to stress about it. and then as we drag down I'm going to be using this pen a lot for the fur it does a good job with the fur and we've got a lot of matting with this fur so we're not going to be seeing individual hairs we do along like the ear and as the fur is drying but we don't we don't get a whole lot of flyaways with this one. Tap that in. And I'm just tapping, trying not to outline. I'm tapping because I can always come back and break up so if you want to outline tapping your lines around where more dotted line makes it easier and, and you do it light it makes it easier to blend in so just tap it in <sighs> you've been having some stomach issues poor thing all right so we do have a bit of the eye color this needs to go darker. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Burl took this on a rafting trip. So, this is the bear paying attention to them as he's coming out of the water. I think we just named him Two Ear um, because there was another photo that we were also looking at where you could only see one of the ears, you couldn't see the back ear because of how he was had his head turned. So we named this one Two Ear. So I'm just moving up around the eye, getting in the darker. Remember you can use the edge of this pen, you can use the tip of this pen to get fur texture. There's a time and place to use the 17 and coarse hair and the 12 skew. But you don't have to use it all the time. If you don't have it, you can do, totally do fur with the spear shader. You can even do it with a um, spoon shader. It's just practice and getting used to it. You okay? Mm -hmm. uh, remember we're just blocking in. Now we're gonna have some really dark darks down here on the chin. In fact, maybe we should. I, I'm actually going to go to the nose because there's a lot going on with the nose. Or I can do the other eye. What time are we at? Okay, I got time. You know, we'll 
go up to the other eye. I'm going to bump up to two and a half. The other eye is right here, and you really don't see anything, but you do kind of get the eyelid. Um, the eyeballs right here, and all this is dark. But we need it there because it'll make sense to the viewer that that's an eye. Even though we don't have all the other, other information that we would normally have looking at it, like we do with this one. It's not exactly a smooth line because the fur is drag, drying. So do that. And here the fur curves, and I'm just using the edge and the tip. Rob CP is here. Hello, Rob. Is that right? Yeah. All right. And get it here. So if you're new coming in, if you want to burn along, you have to join the group because that's where the photo is. Bye, Greg. Have a good day. Bye, Greg. I still need to set up a live for Greg and Burl. Actually, they get four for July because everything's been crazy. Um, we're going to work on more um, water reflections first time around. Alrighty. So now we got an eye in. This is a little darker here, so bring this down, just tap it in. Now we can go to the nose. So now we have eyes our bear can see. The nose. So do we have any questions as we're going? Um, not yet. Alright, I'm going to bump up to three. I'm going to keep with the small 18 spear. Let's see my reference photo. I can see the nose. Yeah, I'd be better with the phone. I'm as zoomed in as I can get. Alrighty. Let me just so I can see. Alright, so. We're at three. Just gonna take our time, get this shape right. There's a lot of things you don't see, but then there's things that are also highlighted. Because two ears just came out of the water. Rob CP says he tried his pyrography pen yesterday. It's just a cheap $15 pen and it didn't go well. Aww. I think I need an expensive one. Expensive doesn't always mean better quality. Um, I have um, a review video and section for Optima, which is the burner I'm using here. And that's the one that I highly recommend. And it is, uh, it costs less than some of the other ones. In fact, all of the other big brands. Very good quality best quality out of all the ones I've owned alrighty so it does take practice so if you can't purchase a new one right now I still highly recommend practicing with the craft burner it is a big investment and you may keep going and then decide yeah it's just not for you so I would keep practicing with that craft burner just a little bit. Try to get through at least one piece. Because once you finish a full piece, you'll have a better idea if it's something you want to stick to. Burning isn't hard once you get the hang of it, but it can be very intimidating until you do. Totally normal. But you can do it. Alright. Turn your 
sure we pay attention to what's where. So we have a highlight that's right here at the very top. But then we also have um, dark at the bottom. That's why there's such a gap. And what I'm going to do is I am going to keep the temperature, but I am going to do ovals. Rob's in the UK. He's not sure if you can get one there. Yep, you can. You can get an Optima. Pat, there's very few places that Pat doesn't ship to. Um, but UK is one of them. I have all the stuff linked down in the description of all the videos. Right, let's tap this in, drag down. That Gila, he's one of the her and Greg are the mods for Philip's not in for the Facebook group. He is in um, the UK and he's got a Optima, so he can discuss that a little bit better with you on what to expect and whatnot. Oh wow! Mm hmm. So Rob CP says thanks, Valerie. I used to know you years ago from Sheldon's live stream. Do we have another name? Rob CP, Rob CP, Rob CP. Rob CP. Rob CP. I recognize the name but I can't remember. Yep, because I modded for Sheldon. CP is color pencil. Oh. I wasn't sure if it was like a last name or if this the whole name. Our Rob CP was like very shortened for Robocop. <laughs> Could be. These are the things that go through my head. Of course, I am sleep deprived. You are sleep deprived. That makes me more interesting now. Is that what you think? I know it. Okay. You know it too. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Oh, not... Yes, he was Rob. Two two five nine hundred. Okay. Goodness, it's been forever. I'm not even modding for anybody right now. I got enough going on. Alrighty. Well, chat's hooking him up as far as like oh, good. Optima stuff. So. Yeah. All right, that looks really rough right now. But as we put the highlights in, and I've got to break up this highlight. We have a highlight up here. In fact, we're going to go lower. We're going to go down to two. All right, Rob would have saw the other bear that Sheldon. I never finished that bear. And then Rob may have been in the live stream where I was teaching Sheldon how to burn. You remember that? Yes, I do. So Rob would have been there too. Ooh, brown film. That one's not even on. There we go. All right. He's the head of the Reduced Seeds Robocop. <laughs> but Valerie is correct. It is short for colored pencil. Look at you. You are correct. That's me. Nothing new about that. It's me. Don't be jealous. All right. So the I'm nose. Don't be jealous when you keep reminding me. <laughs> I don't want you to forget. Oh, oh I, I don't think I have any problems. You sure? All right. Short fur. We're not going to see a lot of detail. This so we can see where the nose is. This is a darker. Oh, uh, he says he was there on that live stream. I use paper for that one. Yeah. All right. So we have all highlights here that I'm going to leave, but. What I can do so that I don't get off and I can erase is I can put in the fuzzy dark that's in the background here and then I won't lose my bare line. So this is negative burning. I'm just going to put it in so that when I go to erase the shape will still be there. I 
guess this is a really important to have your pattern correct and yes. enough information so that you can really do that negative version. Later. Things will make more sense as we. So all the rocks are out of focus. So it's just going to be shapes of lights and darks, which I, I like about that. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. Dark is here. So that'll be a back and forth, and then over here we also have some darks, but we got the nose in, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, Rob has a question. Mm -hmm. Is burning on wood much different to burning on paper, and which is more difficult? Please. Two completely different... Um, they're the same as in your burning. With paper, you need higher heat. And then, but you also have to be careful not to burn through the paper. Wood, you have to sand and make sure that's smooth. I find in learning to burn, wood would be better if possible. But if it's not possible, and since he does colored pencil, I'm pretty sure you've got watercolor, uh, hot press watercolor paper. Um, you can absolutely use that. And if you got used to that, it wouldn't be hard. Um, I haven't done one in a while. You can also use Bristol board, um, illustration board. You can you you can do it with either cotton rag or with wood pulp. They're all going to give different um, textures and stuff. I'm trying to think. Keila says paper is harder to burn. She thinks. Um, you can correct on paper, but yes, it is more difficult, and wood is more forgiving, so if at all possible, I would recommend wood. If not possible, then absolutely paper. Whatever gets you started. So let's see how easy this graphite erases. That's what I wanted it for. And then you can use your color pencils with either wood or or with um, uh, paper so it's really whatever you prefer but I would stick with it for a little while to get comfortable with it before going yeah I don't like this it, it, because color pencil you've gotten used to blending think of think of burning more like uh, graphite and charcoal drawing versus color pencil. I think that's the easiest way to think of it. Let's see where I want to go. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. I know, it goes by so quick. But you've got a lot done. No, well, we got a face. Well, we kind of got a face. Yeah, we have, uh, kind of got a face. You can tell it's a bear already. Yep, it, well, kind of. You can tell it has a nose and some eyes. So I've got to finish transferring uh, the rest of the bear. <coughs> Next week, I think, Monday night, we will work on the cheek, which this is what why I really like the photo, is the fur being dragged down by the, the water draining off of him. It's, to me, very interesting. We also like the matting, which is going to be hard to see on my printout. I'm going to have to lighten it. Um, so I'm going to use the photo that I've been using right, from the group. So the matting of the fur is more interesting. We have some nice darks that really pop out the water driplets. Driplets. They're driplets. Not droplets. They're driplets. So I think Monday night we will work on some of the fur over here and next Tuesday we will actually probably maybe put in the fur where the water meets because the water is going to have to be too, the, just the droplets and how it's coming off the bear is going to have to be two lives 
in order to make sure we get all the information in there. The river by itself will be one because honestly this will be the easiest part along with the rocks. But deep breath, it is doable. It is going to be easier than you think. The group was really excited about the photo. Yeah, I thought about pulling out my uh, Sorrel um, graphite, but I wanted to try. I may actually use the Sorrel or Sorrel for the rest of the bear um, just to make things easier, though the Walnut Hollow graphite might be a, uh, a little harder to come off the bass with, but in the dark areas, it's not going to matter. It's not going to show through. It's the light areas that I was worried about. Ian Smith has a fire riding group. They were talking about the Antex fire rider. I have not tried that. I, it looks similar to other pens um, that aren't comfortable. I haven't tried that burner and I haven't contacted them to try the burner. Um, I don't know. It has very similar tips to the ones that I don't like. So. But totally whatever whatever works for you. That's why I have my bear on tree so I know. I know I have to go on Adobe to check my settings. What did it Oh your bear in Photoshop should be just fine. Um the Yeah, it should be fine. I would lighten the photo for transferring though like I did because I should have posted a lighter photo for that but everybody's printer is different so I didn't want to sit there and have to go back and forth um, I have a question mm -hmm. it's probably just on tire mm -hmm. I see that you can subscribe or join if you join is that also subscribing or do you have to do are they both separate functions I don't know I would think that if you click join, you should be subscribed because that's what's going to get you your stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Just a random thought. I could probably get them to ship me the Fire Rider, but at 136 pounds, that's you could you can get an Optima one with a couple of pins. So the 136 pounds, that's like 150, 160 dollars. About 160. You could get the Optima with a couple of pins um, shipped to you for the same price. Though I believe customs it, for the UK, let's just say it's right around $36, but it also depends on what you buy and how much you buy. And I think the shipping is right around 32 <coughs> But don't quote me on that. That's the average. And Sheila has a better idea on that. She's, she's had just pins shipped to her. She's bought the unit with some pins. So she's had it a couple of different ways. And actually there's a growing group within our group of UK Optimus. And those will be 220 slash 240. Not the 110 like what I'm, what I'm using. It'll be what Sheldon used. Sheldon got the 220 dual. Single would be totally fine for, for what you're doing and learning. And pins are very easy to switch out. There. <laughs> That's it. That is switching a pin for an Optima. That's it. Plug in another, put in another one. Alrighty. So remember, if you're not in the Facebook group, you can't get the photo to do. But the group's very easy to join. Make sure you please answer our questions. I think there's only two. I can't remember. I haven't joined my group in a while. I don't remember. I think there's two. Do you do biography and how long have you been doing it? We did. I did those questions to help the mods because we have people who just do drawing and they see drawing and so they join, not realizing that it's a completely different media. So if you just answer those two questions, we will automatically accept you and off we go. If we don't have any further questions. We'll do more for next week. I gotta get together with Greg and I saw what did I sell you on Andrea? I don't get nothing. I get nothing from Optima or any other company. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Is Andrea I'm not sure about Andrea has. I'm not sure. Oh, I was gonna research your Altima. Yeah, Rob, if you go to the homepage of my group of my uh, YouTube page, I have a review, how to take care of your pens. I did I need to take the two lives I did with the different pens and, and make those into shorter videos so it's easier for people to index and go through. Um, so that's all the information on Optima right there. But there's one thing we really got to say. We really got to say it. Okay. I think I know what it is. You, you guys know what it is. What it, on, on three? On three, say it with me. Okay. You're awesome. Yeah, smoothies are awesome. You can do no. this. Oh. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so and share. Tired. And he's tired of putting so him to bed. <laughs> Happy burning and learning by guys. See you next week. <laughs> what did you say?